everyone welcome back to my channel today's video I'm showing you how I did this really cute ombre set um, I've already gone in and applied tips prep my clients nail and also applied some CJP acid bonder to all of the nails um, on four of the fingers I'm doing an ombre so all I'm doing is going in with some CJP snow white and applying that at the tip of the nail and then blending that down towards the cuticle. So I'll do this to all of the nails, and then once it's set up a little bit, I'll go back to the ring, uh, to the little finger, sorry, and do my um, cover pink color for the nail bed. Um, and if you're wondering, I'm using the Liz Guild brush from CJP and also the CJP crystal nail tip. So now I'm going to go in and I am using CJP Perfect Peach for the nail bed area. So all I'm doing here is I'm just taking a bead, I do drain the back of my bead a little bit um, and I place my first bead in the centre of the nail where the white ends and then blend that up towards the uh, free edge of the nail and then I'll place a, another bead at the cuticle area and do exactly the same. And as you can see, there was a bit of hair in that bit. Very annoying, can't get it out. Um, so yeah, and I'll just keep blending that and then if I feel like I need to add some more, I'll just add it where I need it, but making sure that I do drain the back of my bead. So I do this to all of the nails. I'm really sorry it was shaking there, I'm not the camera. <laughs> but I do that to all of the nails. And then what I do, um, just to make sure that it is a really nice gradual fade, once this is set, I then go back to the little finger and I'm applying some of my Nail Nails um, Shell Pink. And it's just like a transparent sort of pink, but it just makes that fade really, really nice. And just sort of brings it all into one. It's, I find it helps with a fade, whether you guys will or not, I'm not sure. Um, but you could use um, a really small bead of CJP and more as well. Usually I do it with that, but I don't have any left. So shell pink was the next best thing I had. And then once that's then set, I will then go in and apply some CJP crystal glass just to encapsulate the whole thing and just make sure I'm not filing away any of the blend that I have created. Moving on to the ring finger, we are going to go in with an encapsulated flower. So I just apply a small bead of clear acrylic and then I'm going in with a really, really, really thin layer of a glitter mix that I made myself. Um, this literally has so many colours in it. It's got champagne, it's got gold, it's got purple, it's got silver, um, it's got holograph, it's literally got loads of little glitters in it but it looks really pretty. So I'm applying a really thin bead, uh, sorry, a really thin layer of the glitter using a small bead of clear acrylic. And then now I'm gonna go in my flowers. So for the 
um, two-tone flower here, I am using CJP's Snow White and CJP Heatwave, which is the really nice corally orange colour. And I just take a small bead of the white, dip it into the orange colour, drain the back of my bead a little bit, and then place it on the nail where I want it, and use my belly of my brush just to press that out. Um, and you want to try and keep your brush as upright as possible as well when you're doing flowers. I'm not the best at them, I'm not going to sit here and preach and say that I am because I'm definitely not. Um, but this is just the way that I do them and for me I'm happy with that. Um, I like the way that they look so it's not really a rose, it's more of a flower. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to create the flower um, and then I once I've got my petals down where I want them, I'll go in with my final bead of acrylic and make the centre of the nail so I'm just gonna all I do is take the bead drain it off a little bit place it in the middle of the nail and then I use the tip of my brush and stab it <laughs> so I stab my brush not hard but just stab it into the acrylic and create like a little hole and then you'll see it's really hard for me to explain I don't actually know how to explain it but I just sort of swirl it round to make it a bit bit of a swirl um, but you'll see what I mean in a minute and then I'll go in and create my petals or leaves sorry um, using the same sort of technique place a bead on the nail but for the leaves I do drag the tip of my brush through it and then use the side of my brush to create the shape then once that's set I'll go in and encapsulate using crystal glass and then I will go ahead and file all the nails using a 100 grit nail file, buff over uh, with a white buffing block and then I will remove any dust using a nail brush and some alcohol rub and then I will go ahead and top coat and for this set the top coat that I used was the Urban Graffiti top coat from Nail Nails cure out in my lamp for a minute, let it cool down and then apply CJP Floral Blast Cuticle Oil and voila, that was it, that would be the end. So I'll let you continue watching this guys, there's some photos at the end of this um, of how they come out and I really really hope you enjoyed this, this set is quite similar to the set that I'm actually wearing in the video, it's just I've got silver glitter and I've got a French nail on my little finger um, but yeah I really hope you liked it guys if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up pretty pretty please and if you're not yet subscribed don't forget to click the subscribe button also if you're on Instagram um, I'm also on it and it is at Jodie's Nail Lounge so if you head over to, if you head over to Instagram um, I'd love it if you could check out my page and if you like it, subscribe. Um, no, no, Jodie, don't subscribe. Follow, follow on Instagram. But yeah, I'm gonna go now because I'm talking rubbish. So don't forget, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, click subscribe and I will see you all in my next tutorial.